here we go. Josie Cox writes, when Gia, a Manhattan-based consultant, read Sheryl Sandberg's best-selling book, Lean In, in 2014, she resolved to follow the advice espoused by a chief operating officer of Facebook. How did Cheryl get that position, by the way? Do we all know? Was it, did she earn it or was it granted? Okay. It was granted, okay? Um, <clears throat> so, your thumbnail's been a flag. Thank you, Billy. All right. She says, I just graduated from an Ivy League business school, was super pumped up, full of cum, and loved the idea of leaning in, says Gia whose last name is being withheld to protect her professional reputation. Right. Learning to self-promote felt so empowering, and I was 100% ready to prove that I was the woman who could have it all. Be a high-powered career woman and a great mother. <laughs> oh, man. They think they can have it all. Delusional, guys. Delusional. Delusional. One thing I like about dating Japanese girls out here is a lot of these girls are grounded in a reality. A lot of them. A lot of them, believe me, there's a there's a good sort of a set of them that are living in some kind of fantasy land. But Japanese people in general are pretty well grounded. They live in logic. Japanese people are like the fucking Vulcans in Star Trek, okay? But today, the 38-year-old strikes a different tone. Oh, man. How many... Di Let's see. If I'm going to use my level 1700 IQ to calculate how many dicks is that. Okay, so she started being sexually active at 18. Let's see. So 38 minus 18 is 20 years. 20 years, average, say, five guys... Per year. Well. I mean, that's 38. I mean, even if, even if we say no, so let's say 38, assuming sexual activity began at 18, even times three, that's 60. Who's lining up for that? This is best case scenario. For years, she says she feels like she's been overlooked for promotions and pay rises at work on account of her gender, particularly after becoming a mother in 2018. Okay, so she became a mom. So maybe we'll bring that number down. Now, here's the deal. Again, we have to live in reality, all right? Now, the bottom line is this. If you are a business owner and you have employees, how do I know? I'm a business owner. I have contract employees, right? For example, let's talk about my uh, MLD Clips guy, right? I pay my great friend Thomas, not the guy who's married to my mom because that guy is a fucking loser, um, but my guy Thomas, he runs this, the MLD Clips channel. Okay, and I pay him to clip the videos and upload them, right? Now, if Thomas was a woman and this was an official corporation, right, here's what would happen. Thomas would get to take maternity leave. And I would have to pay Thomas money to stay at home and raise his kid. All right? I would have to give him money for free. Now, you can say whatever the fuck you want, but at the end of the day, that's a bad business move. I do not want to pay people money for doing nothing for my business. I don't want to do that, okay? I don't. So, guess what, women? Business is heartless. Business is cutthroat. And when I see a woman entering a workplace, I know 
she is potentially going to get pregnant and have to step away. And I'm going to have to pay her money. So that is partially why she may be overlooked for a promotion. Is it sexist? No, it's not. It's called the bottom line, running a fucking business. Businesses are not charities. We're not here to hand out bonbons and fucking mimosas to any old Tom, Dick, or Sally that comes through to just do whatever the fuck you want. You come to work, and you work your fucking ass off to make a profit for the corporation. That's why the corporation got there in the first place, right? So, since then, she's picked up the brunt of child care responsibilities because her husband, who is a banker, has tended to travel more frequently for work. Let's see. Who do you think sat around like, I want kids. I want baby. I want children. Who's there? Do men sit around and do that shit? No. Who wanted the kids? But again, the delusion of the modern woman. I want children. I want children. I want a career. I want this. I want that. I want this. I want that. Yeah. Well, guess what, dipshit? Things come with responsibility. I wanted a Cadillac. I had a beautiful 2009 Cadillac CTS. What I didn't want were $70 fucking oil changes that came with that goddamn thing. But you want to drive a Cadillac? Hey, you think a Cadillac's bad? Drive a Mercedes. Drive a BMW. Everything's cool until you're paying $100 for a fucking oil change. Why? Because life is a balance. You don't, there's, there's nothing that you just get tons and tons of benefit from and nothing has a downside. Okay? You want to eat those delicious Reese's Cups, which they don't sell in Japan? You want to eat those? Guess what? You're going to have to deal with the consequence of calories. You want children? You sit around bitching for children. I want kids. I want kids. I want kids. Oh, wait. I got to take care of the kid for the rest of my fucking life. And here, they're trying to make the man bad. She's picked up the brunt of child care responsibilities because her husband, who's a banker, has tended to travel more frequently to work. Let's see. Uh, who pays? Who you think pays the majority of the bills? Who you think makes the majority of the money? That, she adds, has given her a misguided reputation among her college, colleagues and managers, the majority of whom are male, for not being professionally driven. Well, yeah, because if you are going to be professionally driven as a woman, don't have kids. You want to be, you want to compete with men? Men aren't there. Men are, are not out there shitting out babies. We're out there working like psychopaths. Because we know having a kid is going to slow us down. Then, when COVID-19 hit, it was as if all so the factors... So, you have accepted the truth. Somebody got red-pilled. Jivon Kooner, thanks for subscribing. Uh... If it was all the factors already holding her back were supercharged, when her daughter's daycare closed in March 2020, Gia became default caregiver while trying to stay afloat at work. Default caregiver? What kind of sick shit is in this article? Default caregiver? Do you guys, do you ever see what happens in these daycares? I would never, ever put my kids in a daycare. Okay. Do you guys, uh, let me show you something. This is what so happens. So, you have accepted the truth. <laughs> oh, my God. St. Louis. Okay. Uh, let me just show you something. This is what happens in these fucking daycares. Up and down. While these Look at this. Okay. This is what happens in daycares. The other teacher puts Hulk fists on preschoolers. Mother Nicole Merciel cannot watch without crying. He doesn't understand why his friends were fighting him, why he got beat up by his best friends, and it was on his fourth birthday. He got beat up because you raised a pussy, lady. <laughs> the fight begins. The kids fall. A teacher kicks in the air in excitement. The only person who tries breaking it up is another preschooler. But he cannot stop one child from pounding the other's head into the floor. They're fighting. Merciel believes it only stopped. 
All the travesty. All the humanity. The daycare got closed and you have to be a mother. Oh, what are we going to fucking do with our lives today? What are we going to do? Oh, my God. I was extremely unmotivated because I felt I was spending all hours of the day trying not to fall off an accelerated treadmill. She explains, guys, like, again, the delusion of the modern woman. Motivation is for losers, okay? Do you know how many times I, look, yesterday I did the Tokyo Crypto Show. I was exhausted. Yesterday I was drained. I had a draining fucking day, all right? I did not want to do the Tokyo Crypto Show. I did not want to sit down and I literally did not want to do it. But it doesn't fucking matter what I want to do. My motivations, my emotions doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I want to be a successful businessman. I want to help men across the world. I want to grow my business. I want to grow the hot dude army. And that only happens when I sit my handsome white ass down in this fucking chair and preach the gospel of make money, make muscles, learn game, hold frame, buy Bitcoin. All right? So it doesn't matter about motivation. See, this is, this is like delusional. Like uh, when, when men come to me like, how can I get motivated, MLD? How can I get pumped up? Uh, start by grabbing your balls and realizing, oh, shit, I'm a man and I don't need motivation. I need discipline. I need emotional regulation. I need to get going in the direction of my dreams because if not, my dreams won't happen. And life and my mortality is eating away at the time I have to, one, enjoy my life, and two, make the life that I want, okay? You're going to die, boys. If you can hear my voice, you're going to die, and you're not going to wake up. It's eternal black death coming for you all. How are you going to spend your life? Sitting around hoping to be motivated or waking up and getting the fucking job done? I was extremely unmotivated because I felt I was spending all hours of the day not to fall off an accelerated treadmill. Oh, oh my God. You, you made some actions and now you're upset about the consequences? Wow. <laughs> First rule of daycares, don't talk about daycare. That is fucking hilarious.